Hello guys, this is Miguel. Today we will show you how to make this realistic type of scenes or this realistic type of rendering. I will show you how to make this grass and how to import those uh, those elements, those plants, and how to set up them inside Blender. So let's start. So uh, we're gonna edit a plane, and uh, we're gonna be we need to be uh, two meter by two meter, and we're gonna add uh, a camera like this and move it right here. And we're gonna go here and press zero and uh, now we need to uh, need to set the resolution to vertical uh, 1080 by uh, 1920 now let's go here and uh, uh, click here in the viewport display and uh, set this pass uh, part 2 to 1 slide it like this so we can only see what the camera can see uh, now we have our uh, plane right here we're gonna add it a particle system to this plane so select the plane go to the particle tab and press particle system and you're gonna uh, press here to add it a hair uh, particles and you're gonna make the length of the hair maybe uh, 0 0.01 meter so let's see our hair particles it's really small maybe uh, 0 0.05 like this okay now we're gonna we're gonna uh, click here on advance and uh, we're gonna select this physics and uh, make this brownie a little bit like this okay and you're gonna go here uh, to the shield ring and you're gonna activate uh, the simple so we can increase our uh, hair particles so maybe you're gonna add it, uh, 100 like this and now what uh, we can see in uh, this uh, view in the camera maybe we're gonna just uh, move our camera a little bit like this and we're gonna select the camera and make the focal length to 100 okay like this is nice and move it a little bit down and we're gonna select this uh, this plane and go to the edit mode and scale it in the y-axis like this so it, it, it will cover all our view right here and now i think we have good grass but uh, let's go to the render view i'm using cycles right here so let's uh, go to the render view and as we see we only see uh, black black stuff so i'm gonna add a light or you can use hdr lighting but i think you uh, are gonna go here to the shader editor and select the word and you're gonna add a sky texture and plug it right here now we can see our uh, our uh, gra our uh, light select the glass and go to the object and let's go back to the world and we're gonna rotate the sun a little bit so it uh, gives us good lighting uh, maybe like this or let's give it like uh, 80 degree rotation of 90 degree rotation and we're gonna select this dust and slide it like this okay i think like this is nice so now we, we're gonna play a little bit with the, the shape of the hair so let's go select the plane and go back to the particle system and we're gonna go and find the shape of the hair like this and uh, we're gonna make we're gonna make this 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.5 and this 0 0.5 like this okay now let's scale this a little bit we're gonna make it very thin like like this okay nice now what we're gonna uh, go we're gonna go in uh, here in this clamping i'm gonna clamp it a little bit like this so it will be like a hair uh, like a grass okay and maybe we're gonna make this uh, segments to maybe two or three maximum later and uh, let's try to clamp it a little bit like this okay now i think we have a very good grass maybe we're gonna just scale it a little bit down uh, or maybe let's increase this brownies like this. I think like this is nice, guys. I think like this is nice. So for the background, you can add it anything like rocks or trees or or plants. For me, I think I'm gonna just uh, uh, use uh, the Blender Kit add-on to uh, download some plants. So let's search for plants for the add-on and let's maybe see if we uh, will find a very uh, good uh, plant. So let's search for one i think i'm gonna use this i don't use it before so it's uh, i think very good for this project so let's uh, scale it like this and move it down a little bit and move it in the background like this just hide this spot uh, down right here we're gonna we will not see it anyways so let's duplicate it with the uh, alt d make it as an instance so and scale it a little bit and move it let's duplicate it one more time scale it a little bit let's select uh, all of those and duplicate them and scale them a little bit like this Maybe rotate them to make a little bit of variation like this okay nice now for the grass we can uh, also 
use this add-on to uh, to get a very good grass material so i'm gonna use uh, i think i'm gonna use this one so select your plane and uh, choose this grass and uh, see it's it will match this uh, this plant but if you uh, use your uh, let's let's uh, say you use this uh, Let's say you used uh, your material, maybe just uh, give it like this color or just choose uh, from here like this color and make it a little bit metallic and make it uh, like very dark and just uh, try to match it to, uh, to this color so you make uh, your scene looks better. Okay, we got our, uh, let's uh, go back to our grass material like this. Now what we can do, we're going to add maybe a product or something. I'm going to just uh, try uh, to add a monkey head like this. Okay, and let's give it maybe subdivision subsurface with the shade smooth and uh, place it right here on the scene, like this. Scale it a little bit and place it right here. Okay, so now if you want to make it more realistic, you're gonna need to add it a depth of field. So let's uh, try to add it to activate this depth of field, and you're gonna select this uh, monkey uh, as our object. Now we're gonna make this uh, f stop to uh, maybe one, one point four, and now you will see that uh, our scene is a little bit realistic. Of course, you can improve the background by adding, uh, applicating more of those stuff. Okay, like this, and move it right here to, to make it like it's a forest or something. I don't know. You can, you can just add more stuff like uh, another type of plants or uh, rocks or something. You can also use this for maybe rocks. Maybe this some gold rocks. Maybe you try this one. This rock right here, maybe, or maybe we'll just put it this monkey head on top of this rock. I don't know, let's rotate it like this and place it right here, maybe like this. Okay, let's give this monkey maybe a glass material. Let's go here, transmission, and give it a glass material, so a little bit of something like this, and maybe just place it like this. Okay, now what we can do, we can just uh, go here to the timeline and maybe make a little bit of zoom like this okay let's see our animation okay we can do this or we can add it any product maybe i have a product right here that i make it uh, we can maybe scale it and put it on this rock and maybe we can uh, we can make this rock go down down a little bit like this and rotate it a little bit like this scale it maybe you can scale it one more time here like this okay let's see our let's remove these keyframes first okay and uh, a little bit up like this okay now you have a very realistic scene you can uh, you can add any project here or any product and uh, make it uh, animate it maybe or do your stuff and uh, Okay, so we can also improve this a little bit, uh, maybe like this. Also, we can uh, can duplicate this one and move it right here, maybe like this. And scale it a little bit. To make a little bit of uh, these shadows, like this. Okay, let's scale it up a little bit. Maybe we duplicate it one more time right here and rotate it. Just try to position it so it will looks good in the render. Let's see right now. Maybe make it right here. Just a little bit like this. Also, you can play with the rotation of the the lighting so let's go to the shading the world and you can rotate the, the sun as you like so you get uh, other lighting conditions see it will change the look of this uh, this render shot okay kind of like this one maybe this one i don't know it's uh, it's up to you guys uh, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Maybe just uh, adjust this rotation. Maybe the scale of it like this. You know, you can play with this all night. 
to get good results so just um, just showing you how to do how to set up this uh, scene and the lighting and the grass and uh, you can make a very good scene based on just one or two assets of course you can get a lot of uh, plants from this add-on or uh, you can go to the you can go to the sketchfab uh, website and you get a, you're gonna get a lot of uh, free good assets and uh, you're gonna place them here just make them look good in the render and uh, that's it guys i hope you like the video and uh, you can now render render your video in cycles engine and that's it i hope you learned something thank you for watching guys i see you